The darkness comes! Again? I thought it came already. Well, <laughs> it, it didn't shoot enough of its load. Alright, big incense. <laughs> Chapter 2, The Binding of the I Corpse God. I cannot say what was the true beginning. Nor am I sure of its end. Yeah, this, in case you didn't know, Katie, so this is, of course, Dr. Edward Roybus narrating the story. I'm reminded ah. of ideas I first encountered yeah, the guy who, in James guy who's George Frazier's book, The Golden mm. Bow. It's actually interesting, in really. Religion. We actually get to we, we actually hear his disembodied voice narrating the story. A web of meaning where there oh. may be none. Since time immemorial, mm. ancient peoples have dressed up their lack of knowledge as gods and demons. Makes sense to me. I have yeah. discovered that sometimes the fates of gods and mortals into literally. Agra Tom region, Cambodia, 1150 AD. And there's Elia, voiced by, I believe, her, I believe it's uh, yeah, it's Kim, my guest. Um, AKA Mei Ling from Metal Gear Solid. Ah. Yeah, there's plenty of Metal Gear actors in this game. Gotta love it then. <laughs> of course, it's a coincidence. Amongst the beings oh. of flesh and bone. You have a great monument here in Mount Rock. It is a pity that no one will ever recognize it. And uh, he's, the, he's the only spell key user to use a nine point circle of power. Uh -oh. No longer. Yeah, he's using what's known as the bind spell, and obviously, at not with a nine-point circle of power, it's enough to pretty much keep him here on this mortal plane indefinitely. Uh oh. So thus, he suffers a long, painful, agonizing death. Ugh. I actually feel sorry for the beast. It's funny because Mantorok is the most frightening of the Eldritch abominations in this game, and yet he's the most benevolent. Yeah. I mean, even if it is potentially solely for his own ends, he does save humanity by guiding the heroes. Yeah. Yep. And, of course, we're trapped. Elia, of course, is our... I guess she's our first... Yeah, she's the first actual tutorial character, since she's going to be the one to, uh, to demonstrate the sanity effects. Yeah, she's the first character. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, but we don't get to use magic until chapter three. Also, she wanted something big and epic to happen to her. <laughs> it's going to happen. Be careful what you wish for, sweetie pie. You're going to be <laughs> by the end. By the end of this. You will be wishing you were still being felt up by your master back home. Uh, yeah, obviously she's a slave dancer. Yeah. And she's apparently gifted with uh, the art of the sword. Uh oh, Uliav zombie! Careful. Uh oh. With these, when those things sing, they can explode. Also, when you get attacked by them, they drain your magic. As well as your health. A la sanity meter. <laughs> yeah. Of course, when enemies look at you, you lose sanity. There's a way to get your sanity back, obviously, by performing a finishing move. And each character has their own unique finishing move animation. One for each character. Awesome. Obviously, obviously Elias was uh, twirling, twirling her short sword and stabbing him. She's equipped with, I believe, a kukri. Uh, no, it's a short... No, no, it's just a, a plain short sword. It's, uh... Our character in Chapter 6 has a kukri blade. But basically, yeah, this game spans, like, centuries. From 26 BC all the way up to 2000 AD. So, yeah, there are a total of 12 playable characters... Obviously, we've already yeah. beaten, we already cleared Pius's chapter. Yep. Elias is chapter two. But yeah, there, uh, there are obviously four major areas we're revisiting in this game. 
uh, the Anchor Time region in Cambodia, which we are in now. The Forbidden huh? City in uh, the Middle East, where we were last seen at, we were last seen as pious. Right. Then there's also Oublier Cathedral in Amiens, France. We're we'll playing as three characters in that area, and it is definitely one of the most important areas of the game, especially for the second character we play in that chapter, in, in that area rather. And finally, the Ravis Family Mansion. Where we, where Gotta we, have it. Yeah, since we play as three as three Ravises. <laughs> we. By the way, the zombies can trigger the traps. And then, and then it can, then it can be, eat some interesting and hilarious deaths. Yeah. So yeah. The, so yeah, the trap. Telepath the, zombies. Yeah, these guys just. They, these guys have can have phantom limbs. But of course, they are easily susceptible to a head attack, and they're also very susceptible to fire. Well, it makes sense. Well, it makes sense. They're mummies. Oh, but yeah, we, we have yet to encounter the Chaturga zombies. Those Chaturga zombies can regenerate their bodies. Which means, and of course, they take a lot more punishment to kill. Uh oh. Well, what makes sense. It makes sense since Chaturga represents the body. True. <sighs> be Oh yeah, and, and then of course there's the manta rock zombies right there. Obviously, you know, this evil, just skeletal, because obviously because manta rock is bound. Yep. And later on, you gain the ability to summon monsters. You cannot, uh, you cannot summon manta rock's servants. Nope. It'd be because he's bound. And there are only three certain enemies you can um, summon: trappers. Zombies and horrors. Uh, don't get me started on the horrors. <laughs> I don't think so. Woo! Yeah, as you can tell, Elia has a very fragile mind. Thus, she has very low sanity. Can't blame her. She's though. nothing but a pampered slave girl. Yeah. Mhm. Mm oh yeah, of course. When enemies look at you. Obviously, as I said before, they can drain Sandy, but some enemies will drain Sandy more than others, especially when we get to the gatekeeper enemies in Chapter Six. <laughs> Those guys will constantly drain Sandy from your bot, from your, from your person. And of course, they are perhaps one of the most annoying enemies in the game to beat, next to the Guardians. <laughs> We're fighting our first Guardian in Chapter Five. Ah. But yeah, for now, we're introduced to... Our, obviously, we have to contend with the zombies in this chapter. In, in, in the next chapter, we encounter two more enemy types. And in... Uh, oh yeah, no, actually... No, actually, three enemy types. The trappers, bone th the, yeah, the trappers, and the horrors, actually. Okay, so yeah, there's two new enemy types. But, <laughs> but of course, in chapter four, that's when we fight our first... Bone thieves, and bone thieves are deadly. They're uh, they're actually capable of an instant kill attack. Whoa! Uh -oh. <laughs> Fail. Oh. She broke her sword. Ah. Secret passage in the temple. Uh oh. Duh. There they are. There's the Turka zombies. Uh oh. Save the god! Well, cool thing about the blowgun right here, it's got poison darts. And they actually work on zombies. Okay. <laughs> oh, by the way, don't kill this guard. Yeah. Because attacking humans... Major sanity loss. <laughs> So yeah, kill these guys first. Oh yeah, oh yeah, by the way, Chaturga enemies take off twice as much health from you. Yeah. Obviously, if you if you hear like weird stuff in the background and stuff, that's because it's the character's running low on Sani. <laughs> the poison knocks it out. Bam! 
dead. Okay. Broken short sword. So yeah, if you save the guard, he'll use um, a magic spell to repair your weapon. Now he's using Mantarok. Mantarok is a fertility god who is the focus of this temple. Yeah, also known as the corpse god or the dead god. <laughs> In fact, uh, it's oh. <laughs> if, it, if, it, if, yeah, it's, it's because of Pius' schemes that people that sh throughout the ages, people just don't come to this temple anymore because they're afraid. And they have good reason to be afraid. Can't blame them. Because since Metrock is dying, he needs to eat flesh and bone to survive. Oh, the ironing in that. But basically, yeah. Oh, careful! This is sad thing, really. I almost die in this chapter. But it's nothing compared to what I end up facing in chapter six. In chapter six, I just get tossed like a rag doll by the traps. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, chapter six. However, fortunately, if if monsters of opposing alignments. Or in the same room, they will fight. Well, I guess that's a well, blessing. Duh. 